Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an ISO image and then make that image bootable. Now, I get asked this question quite a bit by people and they want to make uh, uh, CDs bootable, as in XP CD, say, or for instance. So, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now, the programs we're going to be using is Magic ISO, and also we're going to be using this little boot.image file. And that's pretty tricky to get hold of, but I'm going to leave it up there in the description for you. So there we go. So let's get started. This is the files that we're going to be using. This is a um, just a basic uh, operating system I've got there running on a USB stick. But I'm going to make an ISO image out of these files for you. So let's get started. So first off, we need to open up our ISO, uh, Magic ISO. And then we need to put our files inside there. So we need to come to this um, folder here. Just I like these folders. This is pretty much it's easy once you know how to be honest, but it's quite a quite headstrong when you don't know what you're doing, and it really can do your head in a bit. So there we go. The files are now in there, and as you can see, it says non-bootable. So if we burn, if I create these as an ISO image. Let's just save these as an ISO. We're going to call this, say, XP, and then save it to our desktop. This will create an ISO image, as you can see. But this image is no good to boot from, so if you burnt this to a CD, it would not boot. So basically, it would just nothing would happen, so you wouldn't be able to boot from it. And that's because it hasn't had a bootable file image put in there. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. Now, once we've got that done, we can actually create um, let me just open this up and I want to open this file up so for argument's sake we can now open our file which is this file which we've just created on our desktop click OK it's still non bootable so now what we need to do is come to our little icon up here that says load a boot image so you click on that from a bootable image file we need to browse to our image file that's on our desktop which is this one boot.ima file click OK and the file is in this location as you see desktop click OK and it's now put that file in there as you can see it's made the file now bootable so all we need to do now is save this file like so and then also we can just now quickly show you it's a bootable file by loading this file up into our virtual mach virtual machine so I'm just going to quickly uh, load this up come to add add our image to boot to ok select that it's going to go in that image file click OK and then boot her up and we should now see our boot, uh, boot from CD click OK push, push uh, any key to boot from and you should see the image boot up Obviously, you're seeing a slightly different to a Windows because this is for a USB stick. So I'm using it to boot off of a USB stick, which is working fine. But I just wanted to show you how to create those files in the, in an actual ISO image that boot, boots. And there you go. That's one CD booted from. I hope this uh, video has been some use to you. Please leave your comments if you've got any. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.